more ado, I'm one, two, and I'm proud, of course, to introduce, of course, our founder, Frank Johnson of HBCU Culture Legacy Foundation, and of course, none other, Curtis Akeem, AKA Dollar Watson, coming in the room. Y'all welcoming on men. Come on, what's family. Up, what's up, what's Come on, up, family. Y'all are in the room. We all right, chill. Listen, we are oh. live today. Happy, happy, happy Friday Eve, family. We are here. Frank Johnson, of course, and from HBCU Culture Legacy Foundation, our founder, and of course, none other, Curtis Akeem, aka Dollar Watson. We are talking all things HBCU Culture Dollar Watson Classic today. So let's jump right into it. Before we even start off, I want the people to know, for those who probably don't even know a little bit about y'all or anything like that, because I know we get this question a lot, you know, we all in the band, things like that. What, for the people who don't know, what was y'all instrument when y'all was in the band, in the marching band? Well, I'll start. Um, I was all things percussion, but my special instrument was uh, multi-tenors or quints. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Quints? Drum as well. The main thing was the snare, man. Okay. So when it comes between, you know, what would y'all say? Because that's the snare, that's the quints. Uh, what would y'all say, you know, in the, in, the, in the drum line, in the percussion section? Yeah. Between the snare and the quince, who who holding it down? I mean, definitely, you gotta, you gotta go with the quince. Um, <laughs> snare players are the coolest people. Oh, not the coolest. I mean, not the you, coolest. You, here's the thing, rather, rather simple. One drum versus five. Um, you know. So you saying the snares ain't had well, to do it? Well, all I'm saying is, if if you can play quince five drums, <laughs> surely, all, surely you can play one. That's all I'm saying. That's hey, all I'm saying. I just say, man, back in the day before I was say sanctified and married, uh oh, snare uh -oh. players got the girls. Come on, uh, yeah, man, that's, just, that's just real. First, first of that's all, real. look, I, look, I am a testament, right? Quint player, dance girl. I mean, I'm they, just saying. They, 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 I'm, they, just they, saying. They, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, your girl, your, your girl was captain on the dance right, team. I'm right, just saying. Right, you know. Right. Shout out to Blue Satin, John C. Smith University. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, but so, no, getting into it, what even, tell the people, how did this even come about? Like, how, I know, I know, Curtis, um, we actually been working together for a while. Yeah. You actually um, hosted a few HBCU yeah, culture events, yeah, yeah. but how did we get to you both working together? How did HBCU culture Dollar Watson Classic even came? Where the idea come from? What made you guys want to collaborate, bring this together, bringing this and doing this for the culture? Go ahead, Let me tell you. Go something. ahead. So, you know, after you all had me at the first event for mm -hmm. the Fan Fest in Charlotte. Oh, okay, okay. Um. I made a post. I was like, hey, I got the bug. I want to do a high school jamboree. Oh. And Frank basically hit me up and said, hey, take that down. Let's <laughs> figure this out. Long story short. And then Frank hit me with the, hey, let's build this thing. Let's see where yeah. it can go. And then from that point on, now we have the Dollar Watson Classic. We're going to start this thing in some small gym or something like that. Wow. And Frank just said, no, we can go big. Wow. And so basically, that's my part. That's, wow. that's, that's the start of it. That's, that's a piece of it. One thing I will say, though. Uh, for me, it started out of brotherhood. Oh, mm -hmm. I like right. that. Uh, so, I like that. you know, for me, um, I would say we built a, a brotherhood yeah. over, uh, over over time, and that's what we, we love to do. We, we do business with our brothers. We want to make each other life better. We want to build tables. I like that. that. That's yeah. what this is about. This is about building legacy, uh, not only for just the HBC Culture Legacy Foundation, but this brother and, and, <laughs> and, and many more to come. So that's what we're doing. I love that. Yeah. And, that and I was actually going to say that on too. I was going to say it. Go I was, ahead. I was go also going to say, Frank was the only one out of everybody I dealt wow. with that literally said, hey, bro, let's lock in. Let's be wow. in. Everybody like else, you know, bringing me out. I, I love the check. Don't <laughs> get it but um, Frank was the only one that said, hey, we got something here. Let's lock in and build. Oh, and that's that. another part of that, too. Wow. And I was going to say, too, for me, the, even with the message that that says, you know, contrary to what society says, it's good to see two brothers working together, doing mm -hmm. something not only for the culture, for families, mm -hmm. um, for schools, all the people that's going to benefit from this, like the students, the schools, the bands, or what have you, just the culture at large. You know, kudos to y'all for, you know, showing that, you know what, we can work together. So I appreciate oh, yeah, that. Man, appreciate we'll, that. We'll, we'll build plenty more tables. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that. So I was going to say, I want to even talk about real quick before we get into it. I want to do a quick shout out. It's a lot of bands that's participating on this thing. Yeah. It's a whole lot of bands. <laughs> I really want to give a huge shout out. 
We got Craig Mont. We got Columbia. We got Creekside. Who else am I missing? We Monday's got Mill. Monday's Mill, New Manchester, Westover. Yes, yes, sir. White Whitehaven, Palm Beach Lakes. We got school coming from Florida. Like this yeah. is yeah. a big Tennessee. deal. We got Florida. Tennessee. We got Florida in the building. Yeah. The got Georgia Florida in the building. Yeah. yeah, and then of course we cannot forget our HBCU bands. Huge shout out to Fort Valley State, Kentucky State, Talladega Ooh, College. Yeah. It's going down. Oh, yeah. It's going down. Watch the class is going to be lit. I, I'll say this. For those of you that don't know, mm -hmm. like, um, I, I feel like these are three of the most, um, in some cases, mm -hmm. underrated bands. Yeah. Yeah, I um, know. It, yeah, I know. Because, you know, yeah. it, it might yeah. be just exposure. Mm -hmm. um, I like but that. I, I tell you what, mm -hmm. it's going to be a show. It's going it to be a show. It's going to be a show. So Do you show. have a peak or are you rolling with everybody? I have to roll with everybody. I was going to say, who, I was going to say, who y'all kind of. We got kind of going for but high school or I was, I was just testing his temperature. I'm rolling with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 like, I want to smoke. I oh, want yeah. to smoke. I'll tell you what, though. It's going to be some smoke. Oh, it's going to be some smoke It's going to be some smoke. Yeah, yeah. Gonna it's, it's going to be yeah. some smoke. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah, but all, all these bands we uh, on the HBCU culture side we worked with in the past. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yes. So, uh, again, that's all we really want to do is get out and support these programs. I tell you what's gonna be hot though when all three HBC bands are on the floor yes. doing their thing for three yes. rounds. Yes, 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 it, yes. It's gonna be a dope. Y'all make sure y'all in the building for that. The three rounds, the battle. Now I will say Ooh. this: the boys at Dega said they coming with that fire. Ooh. That's what they said. They've been Dega, on my phone a lot. Y'all coming like that? I'm just putting it out there. That's what I'm saying. saying. Then make sure you come with the fire. I'm just saying. Cause you know, there's two more bands. There's two more bands. I mean, Kentucky and Fort Valley, they hold it down. I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. A lot of smoke, bro. A lot of smoke. But y'all, but th this is this is special because yeah. nothing in Atlanta has happened like this. Yeah. That's true. You know, we've had that's jamborees true. and stuff, and that's, that's true. cool, but that's true. the magnitude of what's going on around that's here true. is just different. That's true. Yeah, it is yeah. different. I think what y'all, even what y'all thought about and how you guys are going about, I think it's bringing something new to the band culture at large. Mm. I do love the fact that what y'all are doing is introducing a lot of these high schools to HBCUs. Yeah. I do love that. I well, really do love that. I'll, I'll say this before you before you continue. Like mm -hmm. the main thing was putting them on an HBCU campus. Yes, mm -hmm. that was that was intentional, I love that. right? I love that. To bring love that. at least eight high schools uh, right on the campus. Mm -hmm. That's just you know. The, oh, by the way, fan fest inquiries. Mm -hmm. if you, even if you're not participating in the mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. yes. you still can register to participate yes. in the fan fest. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. It's going to be some more smoke yeah. for the fan and fest. The fan fest. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Right? Of course. So it's going to be still our homecoming mm -hmm. style, all the, all the good it. stuff. I we're going to bring it. not only just the bands, but we're bringing careers to yes. the fan fest. I love we're bringing it. I love it. Um, free college applications. Mm -hmm. Right? So Parents. If you got a kid in high school, you want to make sure you at that fan fest. We got a college and career fair. We got HBCUs going to be on site yeah. waiving application fees. You definitely don't want to miss that. Definitely don't want to miss that. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. But, oh, I do want to do one thing, though. I want to shout out Love Week. Huge shout out. Love Come on, Love Week. Week. Why Come not? On. They Come sent on. me these beauties back in October. <laughs> um, Mike, Dark Earth. Uli Salazar, thank yes, you so much. Yes, shout out to Louie. Shout out to Uli, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to yes. Doc, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate so. it. I mean, y'all see this dog? Come on, y'all see this dog? You got the dollar watches, man. They, they, they take care of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They watches. take care of me. Come you on, know, old custom <laughs> kit. Uh, and speaking of drums, this brother plays plays drums too, right? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. Okay, so I play kit. Okay. You know? But I got a special call out. Uh oh, not a call out. We got uh -oh. a special call out. Oh, call out. Uh oh, who we calling he, he out? He talks a lot of spat. Who, who, who is he? Huh? He does though. He, he does. Though. I've spat. seen a few videos. Uh oh, uh oh. I have. Who, who would it happen to be? President of Morris Brown College. Uh oh. Dr. Kevin Dr. James. Dr. Kevin James. You gotta come to the table. You gotta come to the table. I'm just saying, <laughs> come down to the basement. Come down End to the basement. End up a space and opportunity and drum set. So you talking about doing a share with Dr. Kevin James? We got to a three way. We uh oh. Uh oh. No, I actually, love it. Like Kirk will bring his love. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I love it. Dr. Kevin James, we didn't call you out now. Yeah, yeah, Shout no out. Person. <laughs> still love you. Though. Shout out to Morris Brown, of course. But one last thing I do want to ask them, what can people expect at the HBCU Culture Dollar Watson Classic? From the Fan Fest to the, the Battle of Bands in itself to the Classic itself. Like, what can people expect on this day? Uh, first, I want to say, uh, you know, Frank going to give y'all the great political <laughs> ass and all that. But I'm going to say the best show on earth. Yes. I mean, passion. Yes. From people that really care. Yes. You're going to see all of that go through and come through. The show is going to be seeping through our pores. I mean, 
great production, great mm -hmm. bands, a great show overall. You're gonna see everything that you need to see that. Day. I oh, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we already talked about it. Yeah. It's gonna be plenty of smoke. Uh, right. <laughs> well, yeah. It's gonna be, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a, a good time. To, no, again, you're talking about eight high school bands. Yes. Um, and then you're talking about featuring at least three college bands. Mm -hmm. We're working on one more. I'm about to say you said at least. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, yeah. Always we we at least. got one more. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna drop it to y'all eventually. <laughs> we got one more. Yeah. Okay. I would say just go ahead and get your tickets now. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, you man. know, they're, they're about to go on sale. Well, they're all on sale right now, yeah. but, you know, promo's about to go out. We're about to hit the E-list. Yeah. So get your early bird tickets now. Get your early bird tickets now. Um, uh, Kurt has something special here. Uh -oh. This comes uh -oh. with the VIP. This, uh -oh. this look, You can only get this with the VIP uh -oh. ticket. So if I get a VIP ticket, I'm getting this? Uh-oh. And you only get it there. Not commemorative. This, 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 this is a memento. Uh -oh. This is history. Uh -oh. You get to say you were part of the first. Yes. You got to pre-order. You got to pre-order. You got to pre-order. You got to pre-order. It's going to be the first one. Yes. I love it. 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 That's special there, man. That's the HBCU culture. Dollar Watson well, collaboration. Yes. Classic T. I love it. So now, here's the thing. You can only get that with the VIP ticket. Oh, yes. Was, you cannot order it on either one of our websites or anything like that. And then, so you have to pre-purchase that, and we're going to make them available at uh, Will Call. I was going to say, so yeah. So they're going to have the shirts when they get into the Dollar Washington Club. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some people that might yeah. be wearing their shirts while the show is going on. While the show is going on. So they'll be able to pick up Ooh. the Will Call at 10 a.m. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. go throw your shirt on, you know. Pick up your tickets. You're gonna have actually a VIP entrance. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All that good stuff. Oh, oh you know, yeah, they got an entrance. You know, I got know. a special entrance. Yeah, we did a little something special for the dollar. So they get a special entrance and they get a T-shirt. Oh. Listen, I'm gonna help you out. Fashion tip. Just get you some all white Air Force. Uh oh. No, it's spring. Uh oh. Just get you oh, some all white. It's spring. It's spring. Okay. Now, you know what I'm saying it'll help. I love it. I love so, it. Right here. So so Nike. It's another plug. <laughs> oh, man, get you some all white shoes. Oh, you ever going to cut the chair? Man, no plug. But hey, it's something crazy, though. Speaking of which, though, I don't know if y'all can see him or not, but oh, we all represent. Okay. Oh, we all okay. represent okay. Jordan. Okay. Jordan. Okay. Hey, I Jordan. Said, Mike. You like Mike? You trying. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're trying. But family, want to make sure, <laughs> for those who want to ask your tickets, group tickets, if you're interested in being a fan fest performer, mm -hmm. if you want to become a sponsor, if you are an HBCU, especially if you're an enrollment counselor, you're interested in participating in the college and career fair as a vendor, whatever you wanted to do, tickets, group tickets, college and career fair vendor, fan fest vendor, fan fest performer, becoming a sponsor, we need you to go to hbcuculture.com. That's hbcuculture.com. Get your tickets. My VIP crew, I want to see you in the building with these shirts. And, you know, by the way, we got a, we got a little special entrance, of course. So y'all make sure y'all in the building. Anything else y'all want to let the people know? Get your shirts. The uniform might make an appearance. Uh oh I'm just saying. We only seen this uniform one time. Come on, yeah. uniform. Y'all been asking for it. Come it might on. just come out one more time or something else special might oh, come uh -oh. out. I'm just putting it okay. out there. Okay, okay. Anything you want to let the people know? No, you, you, I think we said it all. I mean, um, I'm just looking forward to the classic, man. It's going to be special. Yes. On the campus of Morehouse. Yes. Um, I mean, at Forbes Arena. Yes. It's going to be dope. 29th. I might sleep outside. Listen. I might sleep in a tent. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I might sleep in a tent. Yeah, I might be up there in the truck posted up. Y'all, make sure y'all get y'all tickets. April 29th on the campus of Morehouse College. We bringing these kids on a college campus. HBCU campus, Forbes Arena, April 29th. You want to be there. You don't want to miss it. Of course, as y'all always know, HBCU culture matters. For sure.